welcome to my server 2008 Active Directory installation videos. This is a part two in a series of videos that I'll be making on how to uh, install server 2008. Part one was um, installation of the operating system and today we're going to go ahead and log in and pick it up from there and we'll install DNS. So this is the DNS portion of it. All right, let's begin. We'll go ahead and uh, log into it. Um, this is the... Uh, so first of all, um, Server 2008, you log in and you have basic information on the screen, the name, the uh, word group, um, you know, uh, DCP or static, so on and so forth. You can add uh, roles over here also. So we're going to be installing uh, DNS. And so for that, we'll go ahead and uh, um, start configuring this uh, because we have to give this a proper name. Um, since this is not the uh, the best name that you want to give it, um, so I'll call this Workstation uh, Server 08 Server. 08 domain controller 1. Okay, and it's going to go ahead and uh, uh, reboot. Click OK. Restart now. And what I'll do is um, I'll pause the video and then we'll pick it up uh, right from there. Alright, we're going to go ahead and log in. And once we're logged in, uh, we're going to go back and uh, change uh, some more properties uh, for the uh, PC name. Basically, this is just so that DNS can uh, install correctly, so it won't give us any issues when we're installing Active Directory. All right, the uh, we're going to go ahead and click on this again. We're going to click on change. This time we're going to click on more. You click on more and here we're going to go ahead and give it, uh, type in the uh, domain name that we're going to be installing this into. Uh, so we're going to be installing this uh, as uh, just, just a test domain. You can type in anything. Um, but we'll try this. magicfish.com We're going to check mark this. Click OK. Click OK. It's going to ask us to restart. And this is a bit pain in the butt where you have to restart a couple of times, but this is just the, in the beginning though. Click OK again. Hit restart. The uh, server is going to go ahead and uh, restart. And when it comes back up, that should be it. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and uh, configure this install DNS, configure the DNS role, and uh, uh, start from there. Alright, so uh, we're back. We're going to go ahead and log back in. And we're just going to jump right in and uh, set up DNS. We're going to configure the uh, this server 2008 and the first role that we're going to assign it is the DNS role. And we'll go ahead and wait for that to come up. Alright, so what we're going to do now is install, uh, before we install DNS, we have to click, we have to give this an IP address, so we're going to click here, we're going to right click, go to properties, click on IP version protocol 4, double click that, we're going to give this static IP,
have to give it a static IP before you can, uh, alright, we're going to open up internet just to make sure it's working, we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to Google, and obviously it's not working, because we don't have a default gateway. Okay, so here we go. We know it's working. I'm gonna close this, close that. Now we're gonna come down to add a row. Here I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna click on DNS. I'm gonna hit next. Basically, we're just gonna give us an overview as to what needs to be done. Just hit next and um, hit install. It's gonna go ahead and install DNS for us. Okay, um, went ahead and installed the uh, installation successful DNS. I'm going to click on close. And now, as you can see right here, our server has been um, set up for uh, DNS. So we're going to go ahead and configure DNS now. I'm going to click on start, go to administrative tools, click on DNS. And it's going to open DNS for us. And basically, we're going to be creating a reverse lookup zone and a forward lookup zone. So you're going to click on, right now, as you can see, under server 08 DC1, you can see the forward lookup zone and the reverse lookup zone. And right now, there's nothing in it. So we're going to go ahead and right-click on um, forward lookup zone, click new zone. I'm going to hit next. We're going to choose primary, hit next, zone name. Zone name is the same name that we typed in earlier. Uh, when we were configuring the uh, PC name. So that's going to be uh, magicfish.com. That's the fictitious domain that we're going to give it. Hit next. Leave this the default. Hit next. Um, here it says do not allow automatic updates. Um, go ahead and click on allow both secure and non-secure updates and um, we'll fix that later. And then hit next. And then click on finish. And right now, um, it created our uh, forward lookup zone. Now I'm going to create a reverse lookup zone. So I'm going to right click reverse lookup zone, click new zone, hit next, choose the primary zone, hit next, uh, leave the default um, IP version 4. Hit next here for the network ID, that's 192.168. Basically, it's asking for the, uh, it's asking for the uh, uh, network ID. 192.168.1 and then hit next leave this the default hit next same thing here click allow hit next finish and now we have our reverse lookup zone now right here so now you can go back to your forward lookup zone right here right click right here on the right hand side and click on we're going to be clicking on um, new host so we're going to click on new host and here it's the uh, uh, the name that we're going to be um, giving this. Uh, basically, wants the computer name, the server name. So that's uh, server 08dc1 magicfish.com. IP address 192.168.1.104. I believe. Let me just verify this. I forgot already. Yep. So, now you can click on Create Associated Pointer PTR Record. What that's going to do is going to create an entry in the reverse local zone for us. You can click on Add, add. it says Successful. Click OK, click Done. And right click, refresh this. We're going to go to the reverse lookup zone, and there it is. It created the uh, reverse lookup. Uh, uh, entry for us automatically. So now that our DNS is configured, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we can proceed to install Active Directory. And I'll show you that in the next video as to how to install Active Directory on uh, server uh, 2008. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for video.